Hi everybody. So I'm going to work on one of these projects with these, uh, the watercolor paper I made in a previous video. But this is a silhouette of Alice from Alice in Wonderland. And I just traced this off of a photo I found. And I'm going to use this and kind of draw it on here and hopefully it'll work out. So I'm going to start by cutting this out. It's going to be a little tricky because there are some little nooks and crannies in here. You know what? For a little more precision, I think I'm going to use this. Okay, so now I have this cut out. What I'm going to do is I am going to tape her here. Now this is the back of the um, project. This, because I don't, I'm going to use pencil to kind of trace it out. Even though it's black, I'll be able to see the pencil. But I don't want any of that to appear on the front. So that's why I'm going to do this on what I want to be the back. So I'm just going to tape this down real quick just to keep it in place. Yes, like that. I can actually probably taper this way and make two of them, but I really only need one. So um. Now, you may wonder why I didn't just tape the whole piece of paper over this and cut her out, um, you know, like tape the piece of paper that I traced on and cut it out that way. Well, I just don't feel like I would have gotten as nice of a silhouette if I did that. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to use my little scalpel to cut her out. So here's the paper I'm going to use, and I'm going to glue this down right here in the middle. I'm going to use a piece of paper, just like scrap paper, to cover her and to cover her and glue because I want it to be completely flat on there. And then I'm going to put her on my dyed paper. It's no, it's kind of painted paper, but really it's dyed because I did more or less stain it, not so much paint it, but that's a whole other video. Okay, so there she is, nice and glued up. So we're going to take her, put her right there in the middle. Uh-oh, got some glue on her in the middle there. That's okay. This is just to show you how I do this. And I got a little frame. Just a little cheap little frame at the Dollar Tree. Um, and I'm going to... hate it when I misplace that exacto knife. All I need is for someone to sit or step on a scalpel. But anyway, here. I'm going to just lift these. We'll worry about that in just a minute. Okay, so there's what it looks like in the frame. And there it is. It turned out very cute, I think. And, um, 
I think I'm going to do another one with the Cheshire Cat, but I just wanted to show you how I put this together. Thanks for watching. Bye!